Well, hello and welcome back to Buckland Farm. So today, we need to start getting the grass cut. However, there is rain on the forecast, which is a proper, proper pain. So, um, well, we need we need to make some wrap bales. There's no two ways about it. But I think what it means is. If we're going to make wrap bales from now on, we can sell both of these things. We have still got plenty of silage in here. In fact, it will tell us exactly how much. 153,000 litres of silage in here, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, we're not going to go wanting silage much more. Uh, certainly not in the pit. So I think we should get those bits connected up. And get them down to the store and then we can get ourselves a bale wrapper I did consider an all-in-one baler and wrapper but I think it might be better just to get the wrapper because we've got our baler which does 180 180 centimeter bales when we need it to so the um, for the um, I've done it again open the door uh, for the straw Lift that up But yes, we'll have to take that down on the front and The forage wagon down on the rear Oh dear that was a mistake I hit tab instead of Q. I do apologise. That's the first time that's happened to me. Right then. Let's get this taken down the store. And then we can get... Um, we can get underway with the mowing. Before the rain starts. I think the rain's due to start about 11 o'clock. If we can get it all mowed by then. That would be terrific. Uh, and we'll need our bale wrapper. We'll also need. We'll also need a windrower because we haven't got one of those, have we? Uh, oh no, we have. Of course we have. We've got the. Yes, of course we have. We haven't got a traditionally shaped windrower, but we have got our Vermeer windrower. So we'll all be all be good and all set. So I will see you down at the store well here we are I wonder if it's worth buying some ad blue while we're here as well right let's get this repainted and sold and this one repainted and repaired and sold which gives us 79,000 883 pounds in the bank so what we need is to check the sale to start with which is not overly brilliant uh then we need bale wrappers now the one we want has got to be uh Got to be capable of 150 centimeter bales, which this is. Goville one, Goville, Goville, Goville one is also capable of 150 centimeter bales. I quite like this one. Do I want a bale on end turner? I do. I do really. I also want my number plate. Uh, what was it? MP20. Uh, RS. Nope, can't remember. Ah, MD20 RSD. Okay. Let's try that again. I really, oh yeah, I do like the, Go the Goville one. I think it's pronounced Goville. Right, what was it? MD. 20 RSD. There we are. 
we want bail on interna. We want active with storage for full wrap add on, and we want no lubricating grease. Black foil. And. Bye. Excellent. Right, uh, so we might as well pick up that foil that we left here as well. And then we can get back to the farm and start work. Very small target for those door handles. If I was reaching out with a hand, it would be great. Uh, right, okay, let's get this loaded. There's only a little bit on here, I think, with whatever was left from the uh, where we where we did it before. Right, there we go. Sixty-nine percent. And it's now 20 to 8, 20 to 9 in the morning, I should say. And we have to crack on with getting things mowed. Not sure why it's gone a bit stuttery again. Bit of a pain, if I'm honest. But yeah, I think uh, we're going to be spreading this bale making over two episodes. Because I won't be able to get it all done today no chance at all um i'll probably be mowing and rowing today i would have thought and then bailing and wrapping in next monday's episode because we're doing all three fields we're not just doing the one field we're going to do all three so that includes this one here but there is still a bale in that field there that I left from last time. So we'll be able to pick up that as well. But now we've got the dual mower set up. Things will be a little bit quicker. Um, we just need to... We just need to crack on, basically. And then we'll need a bale grab for the telehandler as well, so we can grab the bales and put them on the trailer without um, piercing them. Because they won't be fermented by the, when we want to pick them all up. And with the money that we make from that, and the 50,000 that we've got in the bank now, we need to get a lime spreader and get some lime on the fields before we start cultivation work. We are going to be busy over the winter period. Very busy over the winter period. Right then. Trees are flickering. Not good. Okay, let's get this bale wrapper loaded up and then left up here in the with the bale wrap. Really gotta move that trailer at some point as well. Ah, there's my cultivator look. Okay, now we've got enough bale wrap there that lasts us a very long time. Let's get it filled. There we go. Look at that. Uh, right, out we jump. Post in the way there. Get this disconnected for now. And we're we'll going to pick up our mowers.
yeah, I think it was a good move selling that. And we've got a massive pit now that we can put the bales in to ferment until it is the best time of year to sell them. Which actually, hopefully, won't be too long after they ferment this year. up as well and folded and you start with the front one folded too so that we can sort of both out together right well that's made it quieter shutting that door and it is now time to crack on with the grass cutting late September perfect time to make silage Perfect time. Right, might as well start here, I suppose. Get everything unfolded. Switched on. And lowered. Excellent. Well, this is going to take quite some time, I think. So we're going to go into a time lapse. We shall catch up later on. We did fertilise all these fields, so hopefully it'll be a really, really good yield. It is looking pretty good. And I'm pretty pleased with that. So... Yes. I am happy. I'm happy that we're going to get a fair amount of grass off this. Off these three fields. Make a lot of bales. Right then, let's get these folded up. As you can see, it is raining. It has been for a little bit, a little bit of time now. Um, so we're going to have to wait for it to stop. We have got two fields done. Um, probably halfway there, I would think. But I think that the other field is about the same as these two put together. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull into the workshop. We're going to re-grease our mowers and then we're going to wait the rain out not a lot more we can do I'm afraid right let's see if we can do this come on is it just the rear mower that I've got the grease mod on I don't know let's have a look Uh, do I have to have it selected? Do I have to have the engine money. I just don't know. Do I have to have it unfolded? It appears not. I just don't know. Well, 
I'll figure this out while we try and wait for the rain to stop. Well, there we go. The rain has stopped. We can carry on. It's now 20 past two. I'm not sure we're going to get the rowing done today. It's a bit of a pain. Um, but yes, I could not get the grease mod to work, so I have removed it from these mowers. I've just... Uh, what do you call it? Configured them to not have lubricating grease. Which is fine. We'll still have to repair them as normal. Service them over time. But yes, we are no longer in need of lubricating grease. Right, we need to get over to the other field. And then we can uh, carry on with our mowing. I feel like it's yielding really, really quite well. Especially the bottom half, the bottom, bottom big part of the field there. This top bit, not so much, but it's still plenty of, of grass in there. And I've got a feeling that the field we're going to now will also yield really well because uh, well, it's, it was fertilized and it yielded really well the first time right I will see you over there okay here we are let's get things unfolded and we'll start down here so we can rejoin it as we go around Get it lowered. Yeah, that bale's going to get in the way a bit, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to go around it, I suppose. Okay, right. Uh, once again, I'm going to crack on with this, and I'll see you when we're done. Well, there we go. The um, evening mist has kicked it. I'm not really sure the evening mist is a thing, but there it is anyway. Uh, we have got the whole field cut, which is brilliant. See, the rotor's still spinning in the mirror. <laughs> oh, it is now 20 past four. I expected to be able to row today as well but I don't think we're going to be able to which is a bit of a pain still it won't dry out overnight we will be able to row it up and bale it still tomorrow with it still staying as grass and uh, shouldn't really affect the yield though it's not going to rot down is it it's only overnight um, so yeah we will get the they row it out first thing in the morning. Get everything rowed up. And we'll go from there. Been quite a busy, uh, well, busy few days, really. Finishing off the, um, the harvest in that field there. We're going to go into October next episode. Things are going to have progressed a little bit means the grass would have also grown back a little bit but it won't stop us picking up the stuff that's there yeah when I mean, we really really after we've got all these these fields uh, mown baled and wrapped we really really need to get on with field prep for next year 
don't think we're going to get any seed in the ground this year. In fact, let me just double check that I can put seed in next year. Yes, I can. Yeah, wheat, barley, canola and oats can all go in in uh, both spring and autumn. So we'll be good there. We just need to get the fields ready. So there's going to be lime. We're going to spread manure. We have been collecting it for a while. I don't think it'll go far. And we only need to do it on two fields out of the three because we're putting soybeans in the other one and soybeans do not need nitrogen they are going to replenish the soil a little bit with some nitrogen which is good though i don't think that's really what happens in the game but that is what happens in real life so yeah focus first is to get the grass all done greenhouse also is stocked up with things that need taken to the shops but once again, I think we can wait for that. Right. Let's just get this parked up in here. I think it's been a long day. Time for me to go in and get some dinner. And we'll switch that off there. Lovely. Get that closed. We don't want rats in there, do we? Okay. I think it's looking good. Right, so next time we will get on with the rowing and the bailing. Can't promise that we're going to get everything done in the next episode because that's taken a lot long time in itself and they are big fields. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.